Hi there, welcome back to my channel. First off, I'd like to say thank you for all the views and all the subscribers. I really do appreciate you watching the videos. Today I'll be covering UFC Fight Night 82, formerly UFC 196, but it was pushed to the Fox Sports 1 network because of injury due to the main, uh, Cain Velasquez, and now it's on Fox Sports 1 which is still a pretty good card. It's for free now. You get to watch it on regular TV. So today I'll be covering four fights, starting with Zach Bukowski versus Joseph Benavidez. First off, Joseph Benavidez is, in his last 20 fights, he's lost to two men, Demetrius Johnson, the flyweight champ, and Dominic Cruz, the bantamweight champ. He's lost to both men twice. Nobody else. He's got really good KO power. Uh, Zach Makovsky, on the other hand, is 2-3 and three in his last four fights. All have gone to decisions. So this one is a no-brainer for me. Uh, Joseph Benavidez all the way. He's got KO power. He's only lost to champions. I believe he'll get it done second round. I believe he's going to get a, K a KO, maybe a TKO, ground and pound. Uh, that, that's the way I see that. Right up we have Oban St. Pru versus Rafael Cavacante Fejal. Both of these guys have KO power, but I believe that OSP has the better wrestling and the better ground game. Um, Fejal is 1-3 in, in his last four fights. Uh, not doing too well. Uh, OSP it's up and down. He's 2-2 two and two in his last four fights. But uh, OSP has some good submissions, good knockouts. I believe he's one of two guys to win a fight in the UFC with the Von Flew choke, uh, which is pretty amazing. Um, I'm going to go with OSP. KO, second round. I believe OSP gets it done. fight we have is Jared Rosholt versus Roy Big Country Nelson. This should be a pretty good matchup, Battle of the Big Boys. Um, Jared Rochelle from Oklahoma State, great wrestler. He's a grinder. Um, Big Country Roy Nelson, power puncher. So I really do believe Roy Nelson's gonna take it to him, probably knock him out, even though he's Oklahoma State cowboy and I do root for him, but he's been shown to take some damage, and he's just a grinder, a wrestler. I haven't seen really much power out of him, even though he, he is a big boy, so they do pack a punch, but you're not n knocking Nor Roy Nelson out. Um, big country is very few men can knock that guy out. I think it has something to do with his beard, um, but I'm going with Roy Nelson, KO, Probably in the later rounds, they're going to wrestle it and grapple. And, uh, once he tires Rochelle out, Rochelle's probably going to leave himself open for uh, that big right hand of a uh, big country. So, big country, Roy Nelson, KO, third round. Next fight up, the main event. Johnny Big Rig Hendricks versus Steven Wonderboy Thompson. It's a pivotal fight for both men. For Johnny, he um, he needs to win this fight to get back into championship contention. And for Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, if he can beat a former champ, it will propel him into championship uh, talks, championship fight talks. Uh, the way I think I'll see this going down is uh, Big Rig needs to be in his face, in his chest, chest on chest. Uh, Pushing him against the cage. Don't leave any distance. Because Wonderboy has some super duper strikes. Man, his uh, spinning heel kick. Knocked Jake Ellenberger out. Um, so Big Rig needs to use, utilize his wrestling to open up his striking. So definitely has to push the pace. Uh, be in his face. Get him to the ground if possible. Um, that's the what I think he should do. Uh, the way I see this one going down, um, I think Big Rig probably grind out a, uh, a five-round decision. 
I really wish he could see this is the main event because uh, the main event for with Fabricio Verdum and Cain Velasquez uh, fell through. I really would like Johnny Hendricks to get a three round fight in under his belt before he goes to a, um, a five round fight. It seems like all his last four fights have been five round wars. Uh, he's had bad weight cut. He missed weight his last fight. Didn't even fight. So I think he needs to get a, a, a kind of a test cut in. But, you know, this is the UFC. There's no waiting around. So should be a pretty good matchup. But I do foresee uh, Johnny Big Rig Hendricks uh, taking out Stephen Thompson. Once again, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, share. Tell me what you think about my picks in the comment section below. Tell me about your picks, who you think is going to win the fights. Uh, I appreciate you watching, and until next time.